Hi everyone. In this short video, I will have a brief introduction about the verb tense used in the scientific paper writing. A scientific paper consists of uh, the introduction, method, results, and a discussion. And then at the very end, you will have a summary. This is the basic structure of a scientific paper. Then in the introduction, you normally start with uh, something very general. In this case, you will use the present tense. Then gradually, you need to justify you why you do this study. When you do that, sometimes you have to cite the paper with the specific, specific results or technique used. Then you will need to use the past tense. So to the very end of the introduction, in that particular point, you say, I hypothesize, this is the present tense. If you say this very specific aim, you say the study aimed, you use the past tense. Come to the method section. Normally, you just use the past tense, which is very common used in the method section because you are doing something specific. In the results section, because you're doing some specific experiment, therefore most cases, as very common, you just use past tense. We come to little conclusion in the results section, you can use the present tense. Come to the discussion section, it's very mixed. So you need to choose appropriate tense to write a discussion section. In the following, I will have some examples, uh, specific examples. Uh, I would like to talk to you about those uh, tense used in each sentence. When you write a fact, truth, or the results of others, you just use present simple. For example, Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disease. You just use is present simple, which is a fact. Or you say this results support the hypothesis that the obesity increases the risk of cardiovascular disease which is the truth, obesity increases the risk of cardiovascular disease. Therefore, you just use the present simple tense. Here's another sentence. John showed that wearing red shirt has a positive effect on emotion. Has, because John, he has got these results, which is uh, from him, then he showed, it's not now, he showed before, uh, for example, two years ago, he, John showed. Then we, we talk about red shirt has a positive effect, means you cite the results of others. When you write a hypothesis, you say, I hypothesize, you just use the present tense. For example, we hypothesize that obesity increases the cholesterol levels in circulation. All you need here is just the present tense. Or you say, we hypothesize that an increased cholesterol level is involved in heart disease. You just, we hypothesize. Others, like the similar, like a propose that I, we believe, we disagree. So all those, you just use present tense. For something specific purpose, you will need to use the past simple or past simple tense. For example, you say this study aimed to because it's very specific. Therefore, you just use 
the past simple tense. Here's another one you say the specific aim because specific, therefore you use the past simple tense was to investigate. In this study we investigated because you specify in this study. Therefore it's a specific, you just use we investigated. Here's another one, is a purpose, say specific purpose. The purpose of this study, which is specific, was to. Here is a steer past simple. We're talking about something specific, findings or past findings or results. In this case, you will use past simple things. For example, this study demonstrated that because this is a specific, then you use demonstrated. The results suggested, because if you write the paper here, in the results section, you said this results suggested. Another one, we found in the results section is a specific, also past results. Now here, it's a specific, specific finding. You say, we found. In the past, for example, in 1999, John et al. showed you need to use past tense. We conducted because it's a very specific. Details of the experiment. If you write something very specific and the details, you need to write uh, in the past tense. For example, this is a complex sentence. You have two parts. You have these findings from this study show, happen right now, you say show. And actually, this is not a specific results. And here's a specific results or specific experiment. Now you say mice on a saturated diet gained because it's a detailed specific more weight by 15%. If you talk about something general or the concept from many studies or the, from many different results towards that concept, then you will use present perfect tense. For example, brand research has a focus on, then because it's a general concept, the brand research, nothing really specific, you just use has focus on. Surely this will depend on that particular sentence. This sentence is talking about brand research, the brand research itself is very general. You talk something very specific, and then, for example, a particular part of the brain and the cognitive function, that's different. This brand research is very, when you talk brand research as a general concept, you, you, you will need to use present perfect tense. Or you say brain atrophy has been reported in Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and schizophrenia, which is a concept generated for many studies, then you use present perfect. If you want to talk about something over a long period of time, you should use a present perfect tense. For example, in recent years, a sedative behavior has been reported to contribute to obesity. You see, this is not something specific time point. This is over a period of time. Therefore, you should use present. When you construct a complex sentence, you can use the mixed past and the present tenses. For example, in 1995, John postulated, because 1995 is a long time ago, he postulated that obesity subject 
has a high cholesterol in circulation. Because here you talk about the fact, it's not a net specific. Therefore, you use the present. This is a combination of both two sentences. Here's another complex sentence which is required virtually in every paper when you write a conclusion. For example, our results support the hypothesis that a high fat diet increases body weight in rats. Now we're talking something, the fact, which is the increases you quite sure. It's a general idea. Therefore, you just use the present uh, tense. Now, as you can see here, this is another sentence we report here, because we report here, the present tense, that a high sexual fat diet increased, used, you have used the past tense, the gut inflammation. Now here, increase, we're talking about something very specific about the gut inflammation. It's a specific event. It didn't in the past, therefore you use the past tense. If you write something from fact to the concept, for example, the fact is increased cytokines play a role in neurodegeneration. This concept is neurodegeneration. Then here is increased cytokines. You want to generalize, therefore you use the present tense. Now, if you say you want to present a concept, that a concept comes from a number of facts. For example, neurodegeneration has been shown to be associated with increased cytokines. In this case, you will use the present perfect tense. I hope that helps you to use the verb tense in your scientific writing. Thank you.